7 News is live at 5 tonight, staying on top of a story we first broke yesterday afternoon. An upstate community is mourning the loss of a local student athlete. Markel Nesbitt, who went to Burns High School in Spartanburg District 5, drowned at Lyman Lake while he was swimming with friends yesterday. 7 News reporter Katie Salt has more on how his friends and classmates are coping. Coach, we, we saw him this morning at breakfast. Coach, we... I was spotting him today in the weight room. Some of the last memories friends and teammates have of Markel Nesbitt. Markel was swimming with friends on Lyman Lake yesterday when police say he went under the water and never resurfaced. You're kind of in a little fog when that kind of when this kind of stuff happens. The Burns High School student was a standout athlete and was already on his way to making headlines this fall. I chest bumped him on a play he made and I said, "Hey, Markel, where did that come from?" And he said, "Coach." He said, uh, they're going to remember me this year. They're, they're going to, if they're going to feel me this year, they're going to remember me this year. Friends and coaches will remember his smile and dedication to his teammates, and more importantly, his love for his school. He was definitely a, a great representative of Burns High School and, and what a Burns High School football player uh, really meant. And while plans for Mark Howell's funeral haven't been set yet, Coach Lane says Rebel Nation is there to support the family. Whatever venue they find, I know they better find a large one because Markel touched a lot of people in a short time being on this earth. That was Katie Sultan reporting. We're told the teen did know how to swim and alcohol was not a factor. This school is making grief counselors available for his teammates before practice to help them cope through this tough time.